Hello and welcome. In last videos we talked about the printf function and sprint function. We did some examples and today we will talk about how to convert the string value into integer using the Visual Basic scripts and C action script. First of all we create two buttons to make the trigger for Visual Basic script and C action script. I will also go with in IO fields in our window so I can display the value from my integer variable so we can make the output from the IO fields. We have the integer one and integer second. We need to declare these integers. So we create the integers first and integer second. Integer is 16-bit value, so we create this tags in inside our tag management. First of all, we go with Visual Basic script and we need to create one Visual Basic action. We want to transfer string value into integer value, so for all we need to write data into our integer, so we create the HIME runtime dot tags and we put the name of our tag value and we make the dot write the result. We need to declare this result, it's the result of our conversions and this result is the convert string into integer in Visual Basic script. So, for example, we need the one string. Let's declare one string. And this string, for example, can be 12. As you see on my screen, the string value is 12. After we go to result, we need to transfer this string value into integer value. In Visual Basic script, we can use the special function cint that transfer data from string into integer. So after this, in our result, we have the conversion from string into integer. Let's make the runtime. And inside our WinCC runtime, we can make this button and we can see the output on our IO field. This IO field will display for us the value on this of the string after transferring into integer. After we click, we have 12 inside our IO field. After we put 0, we transfer again, it's 12. We can change also the possibility. So if we put into string C12, our C int only transfer the 12. He that doesn't he doesn't transfer the C value and he leave only 12. Right now I put the sign into our IO field and I want to transfer my minus 12 into IO field. So okay after I click okay uh, first of all, our tag was unsigned, so we don't use the sign value. We need to change to sign 16-bit value. After we click again, we, we will see the IO field is minus 12. The next script is the in the C action. C action can be done the same like in Visual Basic script action, but we need to transfer with different functions. First of all, we need to also de declare the int result because we want to make this result as integer. The second, we need to make the string value. As you see, we have the char string and 
On the bottom, we need to send the data from the result into our IO field variable. So we have integer second in our IO field and our value is from result. Okay, we need to make the semicolon. Okay. Now we need to use the string. String value is again 12. So we see the same like in Visual Basic script. And our result is the function. Function atoy is function built into C ANSI C library where we can transfer data from string into integer. After we put WinCC runtime again and we click the button, the value is transferring into output of integer into 12. So now if we put A into our string, we will see how Atoy will work to get to today. And after we click again, system function don't change the value he take only the numbers so we had the one two and our output value is 12. in this video we talked about the transferring data from string into integer and we did this with two functions the visual basic script function and C action function. Thank you for watching and see you again in Friday. See you and bye.